Hello everyone, when you're watching this, it'll be Sunday. Uh, Christmas is in one week. Vinegar Syndrome finally showed up with their uh, Black Friday sale box. So here we are a month later. I'm gonna open this up. I don't even remember what the hell the damn order. Anyway, uh, I'm absolutely worn down from this holiday. It has been absolutely terrible. Uh, it's busy. Everyone's kind of a doo-doo head. Not everyone. If you're watching this video, I love you. But everyone else out in the world, you've been a bit, a bit of a doo-doo head. And that's just because it's very stressful and crazy out there in the world right now, which that'll all be done once this uh, awful holiday is over. I am wearing a festive little sweater right now, as it is almost, I think, uh, what is it right now on this brisk Sunday morning? It's about 38 degrees. I also, uh, to save money because I'm a cheap piece of crap, I don't turn the heat on. Because <laughs> I spend all of it on these damn movies. All right, so let's open this up. Here's some paper. And let's see here. I did get some of their little uh, cases for the steel books I have, especially with that uh, Halloween Ends steel book that I ordered from Best Buy, which, you know, yeah, not a great movie, but I had to get it. So, let's see. All right. What do we have here? Uh, first up, I got the Freeway uh, movie. Um, believe it or not, I haven't really seen it. I've, I've, I've heard of Freeway. I've seen clips from it. I never actually watched it, so I'm like, well, might as well. What the hell? Uh, and then Bloodbeat looks Christmassy. Uh, from what I understand, uh, it's like a samurai terrorizes someone during Christmas. There's the actual <laughs> cover art. Uh, let's let's give you a little thing on it. Uh, Sarah and her boyfriend Ted <clears throat> have decided to spend Christmas with Ted's mother at her home in rural Wisconsin. However, upon arriving, Sarah begins to feel a strange presence around her, and soon after, a mysterious figure garbed in a samurai outfit begins murdering the townsfolk, eventually setting his sights on Sarah, Ted, and his family. Looks like a masterpiece. <clears throat> And then uh, this is one of the new releases they put out. It's called Evil Laugh. Looks fun. And then when I first started getting into uh, Vinegar Syndrome, um, there was the option to buy Tammy and the T-Rex, and I passed on it, and I regretted it. And they put this one out that has the kind of uh, old vintage comics kind of looking thing to it. You know, like the Sunday morning paper you'd pull out when you were a kid. That was back in my day. I don't do that anymore, I'm sure. And I picked up Surf 2. And then I already watched uh, Scream Queen, the documentary, um, but they had a physical version with a slipcover, so I'm like, I had to get it. And, you know, maybe if I ever go to a convention again, and I am obviously going to go to one, but if, you know, Mark Patton's there, um, I would probably want him to sign this because it looks very signable. And then this one uh, was one I, I've, I've skipped on buying, and I'm like, I want to buy it, and I didn't have enough money. And this time I'm like, I'm just buying it, because it's got, you know, Clint Howard in it. It's a beautiful little set. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> All right, and the last one... Uh, I'm going to put my hand over this because I don't want to get a naughty strike. Uh, it's got a booby on the cover. Uh, don't open till Christmas. Well, I'm going to watch this before.
I'm going to open this up and see if I have the uh, original packaging in there. Whoop. Or not the original, but the original cover. I'm just curious what it looks like. And if I would prefer it. Oh yeah, I would have liked that better. So there's the uh, original cover right there. And then just to give you a little uh, thing on it. It's just days before Christmas in London. But not everyone is full of good cheer as a maniac with a pathological hatred of Santa Claus stalks the streets. It sounds like a lot of horror movies or slasher films with Christmas. Uh, butchering any man that's unlucky enough to be wandering around dressed as old Saint Nick, not restraining or restricting himself to any one method of murder, this twisted killer dishes out stabbings, gunshots, uh, a castration. Uh, no. Uh, and even burns the face of one poor Santa on his roasting, on his own roasting chestnuts. Oh. As the bodies of the slaughtered Father Christmases pile up, Chief Inspector Harris finds himself under increasing pressure to crack the case before the holiday is canceled for good. So that's, don't open until Christmas. Oh. Well, that's it for my uh, crazy vinegar syndrome Black Friday box of fun. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you'll have a good Sunday. Uh, I won't, but I hope that you will. Uh, I hope mine at least goes by very quickly and painlessly. That's it. And, you know, it's holiday time. If you're not subscribed to my channel, give me a subscribe. Eh?